What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima iDevice Vids, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a jailbreak news status update for iOS 9.2 and 9.1. I'm just going to round up all the news, everything that we know right now regarding to the next jailbreak release for iOS 9.2, 9.1, or possibly any other higher firmware. So of course, as of right now, it's impossible to jailbreak 9.2 or 9.1. I just want to put that out there. And the first thing I want to talk about is iOS 9.2's release. So iOS 9.2 was released to the public uh, on Tuesday earlier this week, December 8th, 2015. And basically, it contains a ton of bug fixes. It makes the operating system much you know, more stable overall. Great firmware. It also contains a couple of new features as well. Now, this can influence the release of the next jailbreak because it is likely that the jailbreak teams have been waiting for iOS 9.2 to actually release or work on any kind of jailbreak because it would have not made sense to release a jailbreak for 9.1 because we knew the 9.2 was coming for a while and of course if they released it for 9.1 it would most likely be patched up and fixed in 9.2 so it makes more sense for them to release a jailbreak for 9.2. However, three vulnerabilities from the Pengu team have been closed in iOS 9.2 and if you guys look at the security change log you'll find three times for three different vulnerabilities Pengu team is in the credits. So it's also possible that iOS 9.2 could be a bad thing for the you know next jailbreak release it could be a good thing if you know jailbreak teams rely on other bugs that are not patched because you know they want to release it for the better newer firmware but again it could also be a bad thing if vulnerabilities were patched that they were planning on using so you guys may be wondering if you're waiting for a jailbreak which firmware should you be on iOS 9.1 or 9.2 I would say as of right now be on 9.1 just to be safe and the reason you might want to be on 9.1 is just in case the jailbreak teams were relying on these vulnerabilities that were patched in iOS 9.2 for their next jailbreak you you just might want to be on 9.1 because there may be a jailbreak release for 9.1 before 9.2 because of these patches. Now, that's highly unlikely because usually jailbreaks are released for the latest version of iOS, but who knows? You know, it could happen. So just to be safe, I recommend that you do downgrade back to 9.1 if you're on 9.2. As of the time that I'm making this video, you can downgrade. Uh, check down below in the description because Apple will eventually close the downgrade opportunity. They always do. But again, as of right now, it's available. So just check and, you know, make sure it still works. If it still works, just follow up what I'm about to show you. If not, unfortunately, you're going to have to stick with iOS 9.2 and hope for the best. So basically, you guys will need to download this on your computer, the IPSW file for 9.1. I'll have a link down below in the description to a site where you can download all the IPSWs. Then open up iTunes on your computer and connect your device. This device is already on, on iOS 9.1, as you guys can see, but it's the same procedure. If you guys are on a Windows computer, hold down the Shift key. If you're on a Mac computer, hold down the Alt Option key and left click on the Update or Check for Update button. Then you're going to go to wherever you have the IPSW saved. As you guys can see, it's right here for me, seven or uh, 9.1. And we're going to select open, then just hit update. I know you're downgrading your device, but it will say update. Just go ahead and hit update, and the process will complete. Now, before you update, just make sure you back up your device in iTunes or on your device in the iCloud settings and the settings application right here. You could use that to back it up. That's just in case something goes wrong with the downgrade process, you know, just so you don't lose any data. Again, I'm not saying anything's going to go wrong, but just in case something does, you should have a backup. But yeah, that's how you guys downgrade to iOS 9.1 as of right now. Of course, I'll let you guys know in the description as soon as it stops working. Okay, so as I said earlier, again, don't feel too bad if you're stuck on 9.2 because most likely the jailbreak will support 9.2. It's just to be safe. And next, I want to talk about something that a lot of people have been wondering about. It's the Zerodium iOS 9 jailbreak bounty. So basically, uh, Zerodium, uh, which is a security firm, put out this bounty that they would uh, give uh, somebody a million dollars if they submitted an iOS 9 jailbreak to them that worked through the web browser, so a web-based iOS 9 jailbreak. And you know, this was uh, created a long time ago, but it was claimed on November 1st it did expire and someone actually submitted one so yes someone submitted a web based iOS 9 jailbreak that supported iOS 9.1 and iOS 9.2 up to beta 2 now don't get excited because you're never going to be seeing this release you know Zerodium basically just wants this jailbreak for their own purposes and they have no intentions of releasing it as far as I could tell of course I could be wrong but I would say there is a extremely slim chance that you'll ever see this jailbreak released it's just something that they wanted for their own purposes it is just pretty crazy to think that there's, you know, a web-based jailbreak that you can perform from your web browser that still works on iOS 9.1 and 9.2. It's just crazy to think about that. But again, don't get excited about it because you're probably never going to be seeing it released. Again, Zerodium just wanted it for their own purposes. They have no intentions of releasing it, most likely. And next, I wanted to address a sketchy rumor that is suggesting that 
Pengu might have a working Windows jailbreak utility for iOS 9.1 and possibly 9.2. So Twitter user Everything Apples Pro posted this. He says rumor, and then he said Pengu has a Windows utility working for iOS 9.1 and 9.2 betas, and is waiting on Apple to release 9.2 to make sure nothing is patched. So this was posted before Apple released iOS 9.2. So first of all, let's just back up a second and say this: there's no real source backing this up. You know, this guy did not provide any kind of source of where he's getting his information. So we have no way to know if this guy is telling the truth or you know where he got this information. And second of all, uh, this this was posted before Apple released iOS 9.2. So theoretically, the vulnerabilities that this so-called tool might rely on theoretically could have been patched in iOS 9.2 because again we did see as I just mentioned credits in the security log for 9.2 the Pangu team listed so it's easily possible that if this is legit the vulnerabilities were already patched in 9.2 and again that kind of circles back to what I was talking about earlier that's probably why you want to be on iOS 9.1 just to be safe in case the jailbreak comes out for 9.1 before 9.2. But again, this entire rumor is fairly sketchy, and again, there's no real source backing it up, or at least he, he doesn't provide a source that's backing it up. I don't know if it's backed up, but once again, that's just something that you should take with a grain of salt and, you know, not take too seriously. And yet another example of why you should be on 9.1 is this tweet right here. This is from Luca Tedesco. He's a uh, security researcher, and basically he said, uh, just wanted to point out that as far as Apple security updates tell, Pengu 9's bugs are still valid for iOS 9.1, except for one, th th this bug right here, that is dead and iOS 9.2. So once again, I'm just trying to tell you guys be on 9.1 because you know we're having several signs here that you know a jailbreak might come out for 9.1 first. Again, I don't think that's going to happen because usually jailbreaks are released for the latest version because you know releasing a jailbreak for an old firmware usually won't get that many people using it. But again, just to be safe, you should downgrade to 9.1 if you can. If you're already there, stay there. And in terms of an ETA, I really just can't tell you. You know, I can't, <laughs> I can't look into the future and say when this jailbreak is going to come out. But honestly, I would not be surprised if it came out tomorrow but and I also wouldn't be surprised if it came out two months from tomorrow it's just you know it's very hard to pinpoint these things but going off of the past I would say we'd probably be getting it sooner rather than later because in the past few years we've seen jailbreaks come out at an extremely fast rate much more much more than we've seen you know in some earlier years so with that new you know extremely fast pace that we're seeing jailbreaks come out and of course all these new teams that have come onto the scene recently you know Taiji Pengu, etc. I would not at all be surprised if we saw this jailbreak within a short amount of time. But again, that's just me going off of what we've seen in the past. Of course, older firmwares are not necessarily related to newer firmwares. It's a completely different set of exploits and everything like that. So the past isn't always the best indicator of, you know, what's going to happen in the future. And lastly, of course, if you guys are still on iOS 9.0.2 or below and you're still jailbroken, of course, stay there. Do not update your device to any iOS version until a new jailbreak is released. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you guys find it helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on jailbreak news, jailbreak tweaks, jailbreak tutorials when jailbreaks are released. Hey, that kind of rhymed. I'm really proud of myself. Uh, also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.